In this video, we will see that in a web document, how you can use input controls to analyze the data more effectively. You can define input controls using text boxes and radio buttons. When a value is selected in input control, it filters the data in report element. In an input control, you can select a single value or multiple values and the data is displayed accordingly. A good thing is you can apply input controls on hierarchical data. Let us go to the SAP BO system and see how to use input controls in WebI report. Let's see how we can create the input controls in WebI report. So first of all, we will go to the launch pad and I have this report where I have year, quarter, month and the sales revenue. So we have two different ways of creating the input controls in the WebI report. Either we can go to the analysis tab and we can go to this input controls here and we can click on the define control. Otherwise, we have this menu on the left hand side where we have the input controls. We can click on new to create the input control. So the difference between my input control and my query filter is that when I apply the query filter, and if I change the value of it, it will go to the database and then it will bring in the data. Whereas if I create the input control, it will play around with the data which is saved into my document. It will not go back to the database to bring in the data for each change of my input control value. And also the input control values, they are available to the users even in the reading mode. So they can play around with the report data, they can filter out the data using the input controls when they are viewing the report in Webby. So let's see how I can create a quick input control. I can click on the new here. First window, I have to select the object on which I want to create the input control. Let's say if I want to create it on the year. I will go on next. Here we have the option of choosing the control type. So I can select the value to be as a single value or I can give the option to select the multiple values to the user. In the single value, I have option of the entry field. So using the entry field, the user is allowed to input any value. So there is no consistency check on the user input. After that, we have this combo box. So we can use the combo box to allow the user to select one value from a list of possible values. Then we have the radio buttons. So similar to the combo box, we can use the radio button to allow the user to select one value from the list of possible values. Then we have the list box. So these four options are for the single value. But if we want to give the option to select multiple values, we can use the check boxes and the list box from the multiple values area. Let's say if I use the check box here. So first of all, we have the label like what label I want to give to my input control. So by default, it has taken the data or from my dimension selected. If I want to change it, I can change it from here. Then if I want to give any description, I can give the description and I can click on OK. Then we have the list of values. So I can choose either all list from the report, all the values from the report, or I can select the particular values if I want to show any custom values here. After that, we have the use the restricted list of values. So if I choose the custom values, it will be automatically selected. Then if I want to give any default values to the input control, I can use this option of default values. Then allow the selection of all the values. Like do I want the user to select all the values or not? In that case, I can choose yes. Then operator. So what operator I want to apply for to this input control. So let's say if I have the input control for year. So do I want the values selected by input control to be in list or not in list? Then we have the number of lines. So how many lines I want to show at particular time. Then I will click on next. After that, we have to select on which 
block of my report I want to apply this input control on. So here we only have one block so that's why it's automatically selected. But if we have more than one blocks or more than one chart or blocks into my report I have the option of selecting the block on which I want to apply this input control. Then I will click on finish. So now I can see that I have this input control here available to me. I can change the values depending on these values here. So if I deselect the value of 2004, I can see that now my report has 2005 and 2006 data. Similarly, I can deselect the value of 2005. So now my report only has 2006 data. So this is how I can create the quick input control using the web report. Now, let's say if I want to edit it, I can go to the edit. And here I can change the value if I want to change the control or if I want to change the dependency. I can go here and I can edit the value of an existing input control. Now, let's say if I have one more block into my report. Let's say if I have one more block where I have only the quarter and the sales revenue to my report. Now, if I create this input control where I have um, where I have this year and I want to edit this. Now in the dependencies, I can see that automatically it has selected both, but I don't want to select both of them. I only want this block 2 to be affected by the value of my input control. I will click on OK. And now I can see that my first block has the data of 2004, 2005 and 2006. And my second block has quarter values and the sales values. If I deselect this value of 2004 here, so you can see that the value are changing in my block 2, but they are not changing in my block 1. Why? Because in the input control specifications, I have given that my input control should only impact the value of my second block. It should not impact the value of my first block. So you can create the input control using which you can filter down the values of the particular areas of your report. And my input controls, they are specific only to my particular report, similar to the report filters. So if I go to my second tab, here I can see that I don't have any input controls specified. So my input controls are specific to my report. They are not specific to my complete webby document. If I want to delete this, I can simply go and remove. And it will delete this input control from the report. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can create the input controls into the web report, how we can apply them into, into the different blocks of your report, and how we can edit them and how we can delete them from the report. Thank you.